Flow and P. I'm Rocks of Rocks Are Weeks, and it is Saturday. You know what that means? It's time for a new project. I've been on a cookie kick lately, the Cookie Monster Cake, the Shark Fin Cake I just made, and I thought, let's roll on into that, and let's make a Kawaii Monkey Cake. Let's get into it. First prep Nilla wafers. I use one for the nostrils and mouth. I pipe using a little black Swiss meringue buttercream to make the little nose, nostrils, and mouth. The nostrils and mouths are piped onto a full size Nilla wafer. I really like how I've piped on the second mouth because it's so silly. These are the mini Nilla wafers. For the ears, I shave off a little of one edge using a serrated knife. So I'm actually utilizing two different sizes. I really like that these cookies don't shatter when cutting through. In this video, I'm trying something new and I'm saving the tool card for the end. I add a little frosting to the cake board to secure the cake. Then I fill the black cocoa chocolate cake with Swiss meringue buttercream and chocolate crunch candies. I don't have a good feel of the experience levels of the folks watching my videos yet. Let me know in the comments below. So for the sake of time, I'm going to move right through and fill crumb frost pretty quickly. I have a how to decorate a tall cake video in the pipeline, so have no worries. I think I should make a 15 minute decorating series because the total time of decorating this cake is super quick. Then I repeat filling with some frosting and more candies. Then I get onto the crumb coating, locking the crumbs so they don't mix into the buttercream frosting. I set it in the fridge for 15 minutes. Then I frost with buttercream. If you want, you can use two tablespoons of Hershey's chocolate powder for every cup of Swiss meringue buttercream to make a chocolate buttercream, or you can just use brown food coloring. If you have a second, please like and hit that subscribe button so I can keep sharing a new video every Saturday. I made the base brown because this cake is for a friend who really likes yellows and greens. Happy birthday, Alan. It's a nice neutral surface area. If I was making a cake for someone who wanted something really bold or bright, I might make the base purple or pink instead. Back into the fridge for 10 minutes. I don't leave it in longer than this because then the sprinkles leave a more obvious dent. Oh, there goes Polar again in the background. She's a Mastiff. So now onto the cake decorating idea. 
I add the monkeys, aka Nilla wafers, to ground the rest of the decorations. I use a little frosting on the back of the cookies to secure to the cake. With a number two or three piping tip, add little black buttercream dots as eyes. A lot of the times you can see me taking a step back so I can see the bigger picture of the cake. Is it balanced? Is there a lot of white space anywhere? To add a little more cuteness, I use a number 32 piping tip to make little star accents. This brings a little more color to the cake. Here's when I add the runt banana candies and green six lips. Now, once I get to this point, sometimes I like to leave the top bare, that's a little my style, but this time I'm going to add a border for some pop. Here is how I decorate with a 1M piping tip. I apply with easy and even pressure on the piping bag. You can go as quickly or as slowly as you want on this part, there's no rush. I do try to end with a border on the inside so the end is less visible. I add bananas to the border. Some of the bananas were doubles, so instead of being singles, they were stuck together. I always think that's lucky. Decorating success. Here's the tool card. Take a screenshot or save the video for reference. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a stellar week and I'll see you here next Saturday. Bye.